Hello YouTube and Patreon. I am Nathan P. Butler. This is our project update for the month of March 2019. Um, I apologize. I sound a little scratchy here. I've been ill uh, for a few days uh, off and on. Uh, and that's kind of a running theme for this past month. Uh, and yes, I am recording during the day, hence the light coming in and splashing across this side of my face. But still the lights in the room, not so great um, to go along with that. It's not a sunny day. It's just not an overcast day like it usually is. Um, so we got some odd lighting going on here, as seems to usually be the case. I'm not actually this red in real life. Um, but I want to take a look here at what has come since our last of these uh, monthly updates near the end of February. First, let me thank all of you who are supporters of my Patreon. That, of course, is patreon.com slash Nathan P. Butler. We've got our Travelers Through the Butler Universe. These are folks who have pledged $1 a month, who are basically in it uh, to be able to get the updates and whatnot and to be able to get their name into the thanks section of the next edition of A Saga on Home Video, which I've been working on bit by bit here, uh, and who will get a thanks, of course, in the credits of episodes like these for these project updates. And while there's a manageable amount, I also make it a point to mention everybody here by name here on the show. So, so for the Travels to the Butt Learnerverse, let me thank Ben P. Stein, uh, S.W. Chris, Jeremiah Mustard, uh, Candy Cabanis, uh, if I'm saying your name right there, hopefully, uh, Martin Dahl and Austin Pierce. Then, of course, we have our denizens of the Butler Universe. These are the folks who do the $5 tier and get access not just to what the $1 tier gets access to, but also are able to get those uh, audio commentaries I put together for the Clone Wars and other things, but primarily the Clone Wars, releasing at least two of those each month, typically on the 1st and the 15th. Among those denizens, we have Jeff Ellis, Joey Zitzman, Stephen M., Sam Howard, Chris Morgan, Robert Medita, Bobby Craig, and Jason Hunt. And then we have our top tier, that uh, $10 tier on Patreon that not only gives you access to all the stuff that the other two tiers get access to, but also to that exclusive monthly Q&A where you can submit questions, and I will definitely answer them as we are uh, going through those videos. So... Uh, the folks who are in that top tier, that nobility of the Butt Learnerverse, as it's called, are Andrew Bettis, Benjamin Handelman, Gary Sherwood, Jonathan Comfort, Jonathan Pickens, Big Mac Davis, and Brian Snook. So thank you to all of you. Again, if you want to drop by and uh, check out the Patreon, it is patreon.com slash Nathan P. Butler with the Nathan P. Butler all run together as if it's one word. Because, heck, I say it as if it's one word, right? Now, as far as anything new and sort of a big context for the month, uh, I would start by simply saying that this has been a rough month to get much done. Um, a combination of work meetings as we head towards spring break. We're kind of at that midpoint of the semester. Lots of kids and parents freaking out, particularly since I teach seniors. And there's a lot of seniors right now that if I were to give grades at the moment would not be graduating um, because they're too far behind. So lots of kids trying to catch up and try to call and make uh, plans with the kids like, okay, you know, how much to do each day or how much to do each week to still be able to finish on time. Here's what we do. Go, go, go. That kind of thing. Um, so heavy on the workload. And then um, I have been ill. Um, I still don't feel quite up to snuff, but I had a couple days there where I was ill. One day where I almost uh, called an ambulance for me or at least called a family member to come look after the baby because I repeatedly felt like I was going to pass out, just go unconscious. Not sure why. And then uh, my wife has been ill as well. She uh, is undergoing a medical treatment that weakens her immune system. And sure enough, given our luck with health stuff, um, relatively soon thereafter wound up with an upper respiratory infection as a result of the weakening of the immune system. Yay! So it's either been her or me feeling like crap, uh, and the one that's not typically taking care of the baby as much as possible. So uh, it's been an interesting month as far as that goes. But some stuff still did manage to get done, so we want to take a look at all of those things here. On Patreon, we had our two new commentaries released for the month of March so far. On March 1st, we had the one that ended out that four-parter, actually kind of like a five-parter that we've been watching, depending on if you count Senate Spy, uh, which was to finally get to Brain Invaders. And then on the 15th, the Ides of March, we had the beginning of another two-parter with Grievous Intrigue. So of course, It'll continue going in chronological order as we get into the following months. Um, I actually have a couple more that are already recorded and ready to go. Um, and I'm about to record sometime probably in this next week or so. I'm about to sit down at night uh, and record commentaries for the first of that uh, Mandalorian story arc. Uh, hopefully the whole arc at once, but at least the first episode of that as we try to get a little bit ahead. And once I'm enough ahead, I'll turn around and hit uh, the latter two forces of destiny 
uh, TV specials and look and see what other kind of oddball stuff uh, is available out there to do commentaries for. But I want to get well ahead when it comes to those definite commentaries, uh, the ones that are guaranteed each month before I start adding in the little bits and pieces here and there. We also, of course, had our monthly Q&A uh, that was done for the Nobility of the Butlerniverse that became available um, between those two commentaries. As far as podcasts go, uh, for Cloud City Casino, we didn't have any new episodes uh, here in the last month. We're kind of waiting to see what kind of news happens to come about. Uh, more than likely, my guess would be our next episode will be once um, Michael and his wife go to celebration and come back and then maybe do an episode talking about that um, just to have enough to really talk about. And then, of course, the other podcast I'm involved with, of course, is with Mark Herleman. That is Star Wars Beyond the Films. For that one, right around the same time I was recording the update for last time around, we released uh, episode number 240, which was the second part of our three-part year-in review for 2018, which took a look in that case at the comics, both uh, Marvel and IDW as the main topics, but then even stuff like Yen Press, like the little uh, Ottoman's uh, Joe books or Joe comics or whatever it was that's no longer producing um, the Sinus stories anymore. Um, before the next episode of Beyond the Films on March 5th, I actually put out a text-based review. I usually don't mention those, but a text-based review up on the StarWarsReport.com website, which is where you can find Beyond the Films and Cloud City Casino, uh, which was a Beyond the Films review, as we call it, which is a text review that's non-spoiler for me um, of the book Queen's Shadow, which uh, I was fortunate enough to get a an uncorrected proofs review copy for and a regular copy uh, for directly from Disney Lucasfilm Press, which was nice. And then on March 17th, we had the last part of our 2018 year in review, which was episode number 241, where Mark and I took a look at the, what we call the movies and the other stuff. So that was, let's see, I mean, that was movies, that was home video, uh, that was games, all kinds of stuff like that. And in the games section, for those who are not particularly versed in uh, Star Wars gaming at this point, uh, particularly tabletop gaming, I kind of took an approach to break it down by product type so it's a little bit easier to digest for those uh, who listen to Beyond the Films because of the canonical and legend story stuff, maybe aren't as versed on the games, but who are interested in it when we come to it for those year in review episodes. So uh, one, maybe two new episodes of Beyond the Films since the last recording because of the timing overlapping for the release of one and when I recorded last, uh, plus a little text review all over at starsreport.com. Uh, then of course, the big thing uh, is YouTube. Can't really say there was a whole lot on YouTube this month, but there's a good reason for it, a sign for me being sick that we'll touch on here momentarily. Um, we had, of course, our last of these updates back on February 28th that was followed by a new Star Wars Imperial Assault product review, only how exciting could it be? Because all they're freaking putting out right now for Imperial Assault is skirmish maps. So we had the uh, uh, Coruscant Back Alleys skirmish map. It's nifty and all, but it's just a damn skirmish map. Please give us more actual Imperial Assault content or tell us that the game is done. They've actually announced one more product recently. And what was it? Another friggin' skirmish map. So uh, it seems to be dying. We also took a look at two new products for Star Wars Legion. We looked at the Jyn Erso Commander expansion and the Rebel Pathfinders unit expansion. Um, so took a look at both of those. Um, Krennic and Death Trooper should be coming soon, but uh, hasn't arrived just yet. Uh, for those who like the other games that I'm interested in or just kind of curious about them or who follow my coverage of Kickstarters that I've been uh, backers of to see what kind of cool new stuff comes with that and how the stretch gold played out and everything, um, we had uh, two episodes about the game Call to Adventure from Brotherwise Games. Really cool card-based game. Um, we're sort of creating a character as you develop their story through acquiring cards uh, and rolling, not dice, but casting runes. Um, very cool game. Uh, it's available now. There's very little Kickstarter exclusive stuff. So if you actually want to get it, you can just get it. And you're only going to be missing like nine cards total, even with the first expansion and a little baggy um, to put runes in, even though you got a trade to already put the runes in. So why the hell do you need the baggy? Um, but I did a full breakdown of the wave one contents, um, which is what's in the box. Um, what are the different things on the cards mean? Uh, and uh, which stuff was unlocked at which stretch goal, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for Call to Adventure back on March 7th. And then, uh, just surprisingly fast, I got the card sleeves delivered. Uh, there are these custom card sleeves specifically for that game from the company that have the card backs uh, on the sleeve backs. 
and I went ahead and did a very quick video to show um, those sleeves, how they work with the box, um, whether or not they all fit, that sort of thing. Uh, did that the very next day on March 8th, at least as far as when these were released, not when they were recorded. So two videos for Kickstarter stuff, though both were called to adventure. And then on March 9th, put out the 11th of those mini Q&A episodes that I do here on the channel. Uh, it took in all of the questions that were asked on the previous batch, which were episodes 6 through 10 of the mini Q&A series. Um, and now I'm collecting questions in the comments of number 11 to record soon for number 12. In fact, I may even do that tonight if my voice holds out uh, this evening and all. Uh, but a mini Q&A number 11 is up. It is out if you haven't checked that one out yet. Um, that was pretty much it as far as YouTube went. So a couple of podcast episodes, the stuff on Patreon, small number of things there for YouTube. Um, the reason is this, and this is my revising number two, my second copy that I've written all through in crap, right? Um, but I finally have gotten the time to do a little bit of work on a saga on home video for its second edition, which will come out um, probably once uh, episode 9 is on home video. Not sure how far after that. Just kind of depends uh, on how much time I have. But the most time-consuming part of this is that, as you may recall, the original book had all of its pictures in grayscale uh, to keep the cost down. But enough people said, hey, I'd be willing to pay more if the book was in full color. Enough people said that that I said, okay, well, that's what we'll do next time. So I got that uh, photo box and started taking new pictures. So my first big task for myself was not to write, although I've dabbled a tiny bit in new content, but not very much, um, but to go through and retake every single picture for that book and replace the grayscale ones with color pictures, which in some cases, because the photo box, um, because of its limited dimensions, meant multiple pictures where one picture used to be in place. Like, um, in some cases, I would take a picture by standing basically up on a little step stool, looking straight down at sort of a cream-colored or white background kind of table. So I could take a picture of several things in one shot. The photo box isn't big enough to allow me to do that. So in some of those cases where you might have seen, like, I don't know, the 1997 limited edition set, perhaps, with everything spread out in one shot, now it's multiple pictures more close up of the different components so that I could still show everything, taking pictures with the photo box for the better lighting, and put them in the book. Um, I have some pictures that I've taken that haven't been inserted yet, like uh, Rebels Season 3 and 4, because the text isn't there yet for me to insert them into, but the pictures are ready to go. So basically, I pull stuff off the shelves, right, off the home video shelves, I take it in with my photo box, and take all the pictures I think I could possibly need of those items, and then uh, dump them onto my computer. Now, the crappy thing about it is that my iPhone 7 that I've been taking the pictures with all of a sudden has like a splotch on it. So if I just do a regular picture and I don't zoom it in and all, um, in the middle on like the right hand side, there's a little smudge looking area that I cannot seem to get cleared away. So basically, I have to be very careful when I take the picture to make sure that smudged area isn't over what I'm going to crop and keep. Um, or I have to zoom in enough that that little smudged area isn't part of the shot, uh, which has slowed down the picture-taking process, but I was still able to catch it early enough um, to take quite a few pictures. And then once that's done, um, if it's a video or something like this, I just airdrop it to my MacBook to be able to work on it. Um, but for the pictures for the book, I'm using um, Photoshop on my PC, my uh, laptop where the space bar doesn't work anymore, so I have to use an external keyboard and everything. Um, so I have to actually plug it in to transfer the pictures, but I transfer them all over, stick them into Photoshop, crop them down or rotate them as needed um, to get them the way that I want them to look, and then I switch the DPI or the pixels per inch, I guess is what I'm looking for, pixels per inch um, to uh, 300, and then I go through and I change the dimensions to a maximum of five inches, because that's the width of the book itself, the, the written space of the book itself. Um, and then spit those out, and then I have to go in and actually insert them into the book. So um, it's kind of a bit-by-bit -bit kind of process, but I've managed to basically get a crap ton of pictures in. Some, a small number that were just sitting there and hadn't been inserted yet, and then a ton that I took, went into Photoshop and got ready, then put them into the book. So the progress right now, if I can cheat by looking at the table of contents here, 
uh, is, let's see, so the dedication contents and acknowledgements don't have any pictures, nor does chapter 14, which is the checklist of items discussed, or the about the author page, at least for the moment, okay? So there's an introduction and 13 other chapters that have some type of pictures for me to deal with swapping out before I feel like I'm ready to work on the text again. So uh, the introduction, picture swap is done. Uh, Glimmers of Hope, 1977 to 1980, that's the one about like the Super 8 stuff and a Kenner Star Wars movie viewer, done as far as transferring uh, pictures. Over. Anytime, anytime I say done in this case, I mean swapping out the grayscale for the color pictures, not adding any new content, not adding any new pictures, um, unless it was to replace a previous one. Uh, let's see. The Great Format War, Chapter 2, 1982 to 1992. Done. That's one of the huge chapters. 30-page uh, chapter by itself. Uh, let's see. The Original, One Last Time, 1993 to 1995. Done. See It Again for the First Time, 1997. Done. Um, let's see. Uh, Droid Z Walks and a Guy Named Gindy, 1990 to 2005. That is Chapter 8. Done. Uh, let's see. Joining the Rebellion, 2014 to 2017, Chapter 10, done. And then Brick by Brick, 2005 to 2016, uh, also done. So that is the introduction, Chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10, and 11. Uh, out of the introduction and 13 that are just done and ready to go as far as swapping the pictures out. Um, but that does leave some of the bigger ones. Uh, Rise of DVD, Demise of VHS, Lucasfilms in HD, uh, Enter Disney, and Rewriting the Clone Wars. I got a few done for the behind the scenes and other oddities chapter, but not many at this point. That one still mostly uh, needs to be filled in. And then Tips for Star Wars Collecting has a couple, or Star Wars Home Video Collecting has a couple of images I need to swap out still that I haven't touched for that one either. So the bulk of the small chapters, or the smaller chapters, not small per se, are done. Uh, my next thing I'm going to probably try to do is do the uh, Lucas Films in HD chapter and then dive into the Clone Wars chapter because there's a ton of stuff to take pictures of for the Clone Wars chapter but they're all similar styles of pictures so I won't have to constantly figure out how I want to retool the look of a particular photo I just go from set to set to set to set um, so lots of progress on the book compared to in previous months but that was what sucked up the time that usually I would have spent to sort of dip away into the office here to do other videos for YouTube. Um, so good progress there. Eventually, I think you're going to love the way it looks. Um, if you follow the Star Wars Home Video Group on Facebook, um, I have posted a couple of screenshots of uh, pages from the work in progress with the new pictures in it. I'll probably start doing those for my author page as well. My author page is facebook.com slash Nathan P. Butler author, all as one giant word. Um, but that's where I'll probably post uh, pictures of, you know, sample pages and stuff like that again. Uh, for the most part, though, no new writing yet. Just a teeny tiny bit of that. Um, but the picture swap is going pretty well. My hope is to be able to start actually writing new material by, if not the beginning of summer break, which isn't really a break because I teach summer school too, um, but during the uh, summer session, so if not the beginning of summer session, then maybe like halfway through it, give or take so that I can still be writing and working on it as we get into fall um, and the end of the year, uh, right around the time that episode nine is coming out. So um, good stuff all around. Um, I'm very happy to have been able to finally make a little bit more progress with the book. And if that does mean a little bit less content for the YouTube channel, I'm okay with that. Hopefully you're okay with that. Um, hopefully you're okay with me slowing down while I feel like crap. Uh, <laughs> but uh uh, I am going to try to get some more stuff recorded today for what it's worth. It would come out after this update, so it'll be fodder for the next update. But I'm going to try to hit as many of the little things as I can that have been waiting for from the Star Wars Home Video Library that don't require a bunch more research from me before I do the episodes. Get as many of those recorded so I can get them out in the near future as well. So uh, with that, thank you very much for your support, either here on YouTube or on Patreon. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you with another update next month. Thanks.